Afternoon. I'm calling him because now I need to fetch him from work. Mm. Wait, he didn't have a car. There's a time, the period that I left mm. to where and I came back. Mm. He had bought a car with his friend's name, and then they had a fight. The friends took back the car to West Bank. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so he got to work, and then he had papers to sign to say. The the, the 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 car must go mm. because it wasn't in his name. Yeah. And there's nothing he could have done. Yeah. You know, he, yeah. he didn't afford to have a car because he had a, he's blacklisted. Okay. So I'm asking him, normally when he goes to work at that time, he would go with his colleague mm. and then his colleague works until five. Mm. And then when he comes back, I'll fetch him. Sometimes the colleague, I need to fetch him from Gold Spot, like it's a, nearby mall because mm. the colleague stays in Don Park and it's a lady so she can't drive all the way at 10. Mm. So we, f we we meet halfway. Mm. So I ask him um, what time must I come? He normally tells me when they leave but that day he doesn't call. Mm. So I'm like what time must I come fetch you? He's mm. like don't fetch me. I'm like so what are you going to do? Mm. He's like I bought a car today. With whose name now? You bought a car? Yeah I bought a car. What car is that? No, I bought a Polo. Eh. Okay, can I... Okay, congratulations. Mm. Can I please see the picture? The picture? Okay. Mm. I didn't take pictures. I don't like it. Mm. So now I remember that during the day as I was working and checking, you know, people's statuses, I did see a Polo. Mm. The sister posted a Polo. It was around 12, 12 p.m. Mm. And then... Congratulations, blah 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 blah. There's so many blabbers, mm. and I didn't even think it could be my husband. So I go back to WhatsApp. I go back, go back, go back. I see the pic. <laughs> I screenshot it, mm. and I go okay. So as I get there to the place to see the car, I remember now I'm at home. Mm. When I get there to see the car, he parks there. I look at the car. Oh, it's a nice car. Mm. Okay, so why doesn't the left door open? Mm. No, like they said that it's broken. So you bought a car that's, that doesn't open the left door. And then what are we going to do with that? No, they'll fix it with time. Oh, okay, fine. Oh, all right. So how much did you buy the car for? It's 9.5. Every month. A Polo. That makes no sense. A Polo that the door doesn't even work. <laughs> and you <laughs> sure now, nigga is blacklisted. Oh, so it's a, it's a. I think it's a rent, rent to buy. To buy. Yeah. yeah, those are ridiculously priced. It's a nine point five. Every month. Oh. Okay. My congratulations. I go back home because I'm not sleeping in that house. So okay, let's get to this. <coughs> How long did it take um <coughs> for for you to now go back again? I didn't leave him. No, I remember, isn't it? You slept home. Yeah. So I didn't go back now. You now I'm applying for oh, a place. Oh, a new place yes. now. Okay, so you applied for a place. Where did you end up getting the place? So it's like, it, it didn't even take me. It's the townhouses. Okay. So it didn't take me like three days, four days, you oh. know? Oh. Yeah. So and then everything was done. And then okay. I called him to say, I'm going to view the place today. If you You're want. interested, you can you come. you want to come, you can come. Mm. And then he came with, mm -hmm. my family was there, and then we went to see the place. And then now, at this point, my dad has him here. Mm. My dad is saying, I'm going to carry you, mm. and I'm going to go with you this journey. Mm. I'm going to teach you how to be a dad, how to be a father, and how to be a husband. Mm. You know? We we even introducing him to go to church. Okay. We get there, we see the place, everyone is happy. So now we go fetch our furniture and then we come back. Everything is fine. We're happy. Okay. I have bought everything in the house, so we have everything. So who's paying the rent there? Maga figured first time when we got there, he paid. Okay. And, and then, then he didn't pay. And then Bokoto he didn't pay. <laughs> Bokoto had to do a job. Okay, so now I want us to actually get to 
um the video you know the mm-hmm. week that you now started getting sick mm-hmm. please just you know explain to us then um because I'm I'm looking at the time but I want us to get to that time that you started getting sick now okay. had had you guys been having any fights or when you guys now moved into the townhouse was everything okay other than the fact that obviously was not husbanding sending you the toilet mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. something yeah okay when we get um when we go to the place there were fights because his family said don't go there okay don't go there you are not paying rent Mm. that is your home mm. why are you moving and going to another place to parent mm. so now I think even himself he had fights within himself mm. me versus the family you mm-hmm. know and then I'm paying for the rent mm-hmm. I'm paying for the LC I'm paying I'm paying I'm paying I'm paying and the reason why I was paying that time because he had said that there's a ceremony that he needs to go. The sister said that he dreamt there's a ceremony that he needs to go make. The ceremony that was was supposed to be made when he was born. Mm. Ne? Mm. So he he's asking for me to please take over for a month mm. so that next month he can go do the ceremony and then he can take over. Okay. I, I agree. I don't even know that it, it was a, but they call it a kweza or kweza. Okay. Yeah, but now I don't know when the ceremony is, but I know there's a ceremony that's coming. Until he called me upstairs and say, "Can I?" He was upstairs, I was downstairs. Like, babe, please come up. When I come up, nigga packed his clothes. So I'm like, where are you going? I was like, no, there's a there's a ceremony at home. Remember, I have to go pay Lobola for my mother. Mm. Lobola. Yeah, my dad didn't finish Lobola. So him as the son, he has to go and pay Lobola so for his mother. So why are you mother. paying Lobola for your mother? Because it should even be his father's brother or something. Exactly. I'm like, why are you paying Lobola for your mother? Yo. It's like they said, I should do it. So I'm going to pay Lobola, mix it with the one that, the other ceremony. So I'm like, and you're leaving now. Like now as you speak, when are you leaving? Mm. Yeah, at home they say I must come now. Okay, they, at home they say you must come now. Tomorrow is Monday. You're supposed to be at work. Mm. No, I took leave. Oh. Go. Takes his bag. His bag's gone. It was a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It was a Saturday and another Saturday. And I can't even reach him on the phone. Mm. He sent me a picture. It's there on his TikTok where he's wearing something and there's a um, house outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a house, the, what do you call it? The, gra- the grass house, what do you call it? Or um, a hut. There's a hut outside. Yeah. He was in Lesotho there. Yeah. So he sends me this picture to say, yeah, the ma- that's the mother that's appearing by the by the door. Okay. Yeah, with the blanket. So he's from being Lobo paid, Lobo 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 for, and then they So now, does that not automatically make his mother his wife? Yeah. <sighs> and then they're sitting there, and then he came. When he came back, things were not fine anymore, even with me, mm. you know. Because when he was gone, I was praying day and night. I'm like, Lord, I don't know wh- what this man is doing here. Mm. Because every Muti, I would let I, mm. I flush them. I see Muti, I flush it. Mm. He says it's for work to bath. Mm. I flush them down the toilet mm. all the time. And then. I'm sleeping in the middle of the night when I, okay, I, did, I could not sleep anymore. I don't know why. Mm. So normally when I could not sleep, I pray. Mm. After I prayed, before I, I went back to sleep again, I decided that tomorrow morning, Uausi and my daughter, they need to go. Mm. Okay? When we wake up in the morning, my mind is changing. Mm. You know why, man? Because I'm still trying to, Figure out what's going on with this guy, mm. and then oh oh oh, I guess I, when when he got back, he got, he got back. He was not talking to RC anymore. They're not talking. Mm. In the within within two days, RC had sores on her head, and they were already they had passed, and it was dripping. <laughs> when I took RC to my home to say, "Mama, I don't know what I don't know." Yeah. Oh, see, what's going on? Have you ever had this before? No. She had to go cut her hair, but it was terrible. Mm. 
Zavel is a bola. Like, ooh, it, it was terrible. Mm. So I said, I'll see. Stay. Mm. Amu, stay. They stayed at home. Mm. I don't know what I'm facing. Mm. Mara, this with Aussie does not look normal. It's mm. not normal. Mm. There is no way. I stayed there, so now I'm praying. Now I'm extra careful. I'm checking everything. Mm. I would even find him. He would even hide Musi inside his shoes. <laughs> like inside the shoe. Inside, inside, inside. Mm. So I would take it out and throw them off. And, 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 and then now he called his cousin. His cousin was going home. He said his cousin must come back with his Muti. Mm. His cousin came back with it. And then that day, I just could not sleep. I did not see the muti. Mm. I know that he went to fetch it. I could not sleep. I woke up in the morning. I opened, because it's not in the car. I opened the boot of the car. He put them in the shoes, in the boot, mm. in his cocks for so I mm. took them out, put them in my car. I'm like, I'm not going to go flush these ones. Mm. So we've been fighting about that muti. Okay? Mm. You took this muti. Karamanja at work, they are, they are doing things to me. And I mean, I can't perform at work. Mm. And, 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 and when I go back home and say, I want this muti, they're going to say, where is it? And mm. I'm like, I don't care. Mm. I do not care. We have, you have tried the, 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 the thingy, the sangomas. You have tried muti. You have tried whatever that you have tried. Let's try God. Mm. Now we're going to start going to church. Mm. No, Mina, I'm not a I'm not a born again. I'm a Catholic. I want to go to Catholic. Whatever, it's fine. Go to Catholic, mm. but go to Catholic mm. and stop this one. Mm. Yeah, thing is at work. I, I'm gonna lose my job. If you have to lose your job, lose your job because it does not make sense for me. These things they are making things in this house. Mm. When I started getting sick, it started with my legs. Mm. When I'm sleeping and I turn, they lock. Mm. I can't turn. So now I need to get up. I would scream. I would. <laughs> I would scream like, "Please help me!" Mm. And then he would come and 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 rub me and rub me and rub me and rub. And this thing happens around every day around two three, mm. two three, two three. I tell my family guys, "Conalento that comes two three a.m." Mm. And then my legs just lock. After that, I can't walk properly. I'm, I'm limping. Until I joined the life, yeah, that other pastor gave, and then mm. that pastor prayed for me in life, mm. and then it didn't happen anymore. And he told me straight with what's going on, and then it didn't happen. But I was like, this pastor, but these things are not in the house anymore. Mm. We don't have them anymore. Okay, um, time went. Now it was periods. Mm -hmm. I'm just going, and I'm anemic. Mm -hmm. I I get blood transfused maybe every three years. Wow. No, I'm just bleeding. I'm I'm buying the ovals. I'm telling the doctor. They're trying to control it. It's not stopping. Mm. At some point, you're thinking it's the um, contraceptives mm. because they have their own side effects. But mm. now, this thing is just not stopping. It gives me headaches. And, 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 and. time goes, I'm having pains like by my, by my womb. And I'm thinking there is something wrong inside. And I'm scared to go to even to the doctor. What is wrong? Maybe it's kids and your sub. Yeah, I know the feeling. Mm, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna go there. Time goes, time goes. Something starts like flu. Mm. I am fluish. Don't think he's asking me, we'll see. What's happening? What's happening? He just looks at me. Mm. Just looks at me and then just sleeps. When I touch my face like this. <laughs> It's like, I, I can't even explain the pain. <laughs> so I can't explain it. I can't say being burnt alive because I've never been burnt alive. But mm. the pain that I was feeling on my skin, it was not on my skin. It was not anywhere else. But it's it's inside. It's something that I, I can't control. And truly, when I sleep, I need to face up. Because this thing doesn't want to be touched either by hair mm. or by a pillow or by anything. So I'm like, Marage, le, nah, I don't know. It's. Now it's doctor, after doctor, after doctor. So even when I'm talking like this, it would be so, my, 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 my jaw would be so, my gums would be so, the face would be so. And when I touch, yo, I was even scared of touching. I could not even wash my face. I just took the, ear, the, the earbuds in the morning and I just did this. Yeah. Because I could not stand that pain. I could not stand it. This pain was, hey, I'm going to explain. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. I'm having that pain, and 
every day since we got to that house, ne, mm. he goes, I say I go pambut. And I take it very lightly because he's got friends. Go pambut. How much like distance would you say was? It's still, it's, it's, it's even more than when I was in Sprayview because okay. now our place is further. Okay. Yes. So okay. it's far, oh. you know. And then he, he, he fixes phones part time. So he'll take his phones and like, okay, I'm going to fix the phones. Mm. Um, but every time he goes to fix phones, he says, I'm going to Pambridge mm. and then I'm going to go to Jobek, mm. which they are so far apart. Mm. So I'm like, okay, why are you? He's like, no, I don't want to leave my car in Jobek because they're going to steal it. Mm. Okay. Live here and go to Sprayview. It's seven months drive. Mm. At spa, mm. leave your car at spa, take a taxi, mm. go, come back, and your car is there. Mm. When you go to Pambridge, from here to Pambridge, now it's like more. Now it's like 30 minutes mm. to Pambridge, and you get to Pambridge, you leave your car at your home, mm. and then you walk for like seven, eight kilometers to the taxis, mm. and then you come back, the taxi drops you there. Yeah, well, at some point, I told my dad, it's my, my husband, Ngati Kundwa, and once he learns one way, mm. it's that way that goes. Uh, yeah. So now he's staying there, but he still goes. Mm. But he knew what he was doing mm. when he gets there. I Guy is still going there. Guy is still going there. And sometimes he would go in the morning. Go in the morning and say, like, sometimes I'm going to Palm Ridge, and then I'll come back and, mm. and, and, and oh, okay, fine. And then he would stay there. He would stay like for hours. So I took my other phone. I put Life360. Mm. Now I need to know if this guy is going there or this guy is not going there. Mm. Take the phone, so put it under the, the, the seat. Mm. This guy leaves the home, the house, our home, and goes straight to Pambridge. He doesn't go. He doesn't stop anywhere. He, does. he goes straight to Pambridge, and he's there. Mm. And then he leaves there. He comes home. The next day, he's like, mm, I'm going to chill with the gents. Okay, fine. He goes to Pambridge. He's home. Mm. Not by the hi- the, by mm. the guys. Nini, nini, I'm going to Pambridge. Uh, no, not to Pambridge. I'm going to fix the handle of the car. Mm. Okay. He leaves the house. He goes straight to Pambridge. Hey. This is just, you know, it's just weird. getting weird, you know. Yeah. I don't know why this guy is going to Pambridge. But nothing is saying to me, I'm going to Pambridge. Mm. Until that day, I told my sister the previous day, meeting, yes, I feel like I'm going to die. Mm. I'm like, Manje, I'm literally going to leave my kids with my mom. Mm. I have totally given up. I've been to hospital. I've been to the doctor. And my sister's like, oh, that's so weird. I'm like, but please don't tell anyone. Mm. But I'm, I'm very weak right now. And she can see me. She's sitting opposite me now, and I'm I'm sitting like this. And then she's like, "You don't? You sure you don't want to go to Jesus?" And I'm like, "I I can't eat. I have not been eating." Mm. But my head is saying to me, "Today I must go to Palm Ridge. Mm. If I'm gonna die, mm. you know, go for Nile a Palm Ridge. Because if I die inside like Palm Ridge, my my heart is gonna be back there." Mm. They say, "No, okay, fine. So now we're going to Chisanyam and then." will join later or you'll join us later. I'm mm. like, whatever, guys, I'm back. As soon as I leave, I get inside the car and I drive. God's telling, I call him. Yeah, I call him. And I'm not sure that he's there. Mm. But something says maybe he is mm. there because he left in the morning. Mm. When I get there, and I, before I park the car, so I go forward, but I see his car. I'm like, okay, good. So I park. And then I go in. Okay. I go in. The, the smaller thing. So I just push that board and then I walk in. I knock, I knock, I knock. There's no one. Mm. I see a candle. To me, it's, it's just a candle and it's a white candle. Mm. So I'm like, I listen to whatever. Mm. I know. Yeah. But then something says go close. When I go closer, I realize, good, see, this candle, it red. Mm. But why do I see white outside? When I t- it's a paper, mm. so my picture is folded inside out. You see, the thing is mm. inside, so it's just white. So 
and then I'm like, okay, it's nyai bamba yang saba. What's going on? And then I flip. I'm like, okay, let me just flip it. And then when we say, it's a man, it's I saw my top. <laughs> Immediately, I, I switch it off. And then I don't know what said to my heart. Get leave, hamba, because this guy walked all You're not gonna live another day because I know him. You know, mm. I'm like, girl, hamba. I take this candle and I don't want to drop anything. I'm full of clang and I'm food because I'm getting poor, Mila. You don't want to like meet him, obviously. I can't meet him. And if I meet him, mm. my parents would not even know. Mm. Because my head already said, You're not supposed to see this. Of girl. course. <laughs> My sister, guys, no go pee. You know, my sister's like, no. So they move on to go to Sanya. I'm like, guys, you cannot guess what I found in that house. What did you find? I explained on the phone. No, come here because we can't leave. The meat is on the stove. It's <laughs> better I'm like, fine, I'm coming. I call him. I called him mm. and I said, why are you bewitching me? Mm. And then he said, me bewitching you? Where? I'm like, why are you bewitching me? What is the red candle doing in your house with Anka Kerese with my pictures? Mm. And then he wasn't his normal violent self, you know? Mm. He was like, no, um, wait for me there. Mm. I'm coming mm. and then we can talk. I'm like, I'm waiting. Mm. So I drive, I get to my sisters and they're like, okay, fine. I'm like, guys, I feel like there's more things. Because mm. I could not get inside the house. The house is locked. Mm. For some mm. weird reason, I don't know why this candle was outside. Mm. Just maybe along is to see Omoya, you know? The, 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 the wind, wind should not blow the candle the blow, out. Yes, so I call my dad, where are you? Hi guys, I'm from South Eight. Do we need to meet? I want us to go there. And he would not open for us mm. if it's just us, mm. you know? We need some manpower, somebody mm. that has a big voice, my dad's open, and then he can mm. open. And then my dad is like, okay, fine. I'm like, hey, bring somebody else, bring your cousin, mm. you know? And then, because, I, but whatever I'm facing right now, it's dangerous. And my, my heart is just pounding, you know, it's just pounding. My, my, oh, my dad, I see Usain Lillian, so now we're going from the other side. So my sisters are following me, so it's my car, my my sister, and then we find my, we, we meet all day, mm. you know. And then when we get there, my dad is like, we need to find members of the CPF because I've called the cops. Mm. And they're not coming. They're not coming. I've mm. called them Nisesa. Mm. So he gets members of the CPF. And then as they walking, because they walked with my son to get the members of the CPF, as they walking, they're coming like this. He's also coming. Mm. So I see them from a distance. I'm like, there's shoes behind them. Mm. He's, he's got a, a bag. And then he overtakes them, passes them, and then they he comes first, you know. Mm. And then he says to me, oh, did he say what's going on or whatever? Mm. So I said, no, but why do you have my picture and the candle here? Mm. And then is I'm, I, I'm still, like, I, I, I'm, I'm angry and I'm fuming at him. And you're in pain. I'm in pain. I'm like, why do you have this here, mm. you know? And then... As he's trying to explain, my dad now, so I with the CPF, they're mm. like, no, mm. and explain for these people. Because mm. I was sitting down, being parallel, and now I get up. I'm like, okay. I used to stay here. That As I'm still, happen. I did not even finish. Mm. He jumped for my sister. My sister is still holding the candle. Mm. He jumped. <laughs> he pushed her. This picture and the candle, he threw them on top of the, the house. <laughs> you can imagine the commotion that was there. Now, <laughs> this one is pushing this one. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
why? Why are you pushing us? What? Are you, why did you throw? And my, my little sister just ran inside the house for the candle. Mm. He just ran, got on top of the dustbin, and whatever. And then he just got this picture and mm. this candle. And then they're saying, let's go in and then go open. And I look at him that time, he peed on himself. Mm. And I don't even understand why would you pee on his... Like, <sighs> he goes, and as he's going to the door, he realizes that my my little sister has this candle. As he's almost to open the door, he takes out the bag, and then he hits the my sis, my little sister. He She goes and falls there, mm. and then she goes to her hand, she's still holding the candle. Takes this candle, we're running after him, and then she throws it. Like he throws it next door, and then he says, "I would rather die than this picture to go." <laughs> He's busy saying that I'm gonna die with this picture. If I have to die, I have to die. <gasps> and now we realize, no, 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 we're running from the for the wrong person. Mm. The person we should be running for it's that picture next yes. door. That is the person that is important right now. So we all, we're not sure if the picture is on top of the roof next door or it fell down. Others are going on top of the roof. Our neighbor bigger pants and stuff, you know. And it's a matter of the girl. My sister, my cousin, my mm. cousin, so he fell by the door mm. and the door just opened by itself. So as we busy, he ran. He ran. Now we go inside the house when we open. So he got in his car and ran. The car is there. He can't he take this car. He ran the foot. Yes. Oh, because there are other cars that are blocking yeah, the car. Yeah, the cars are just here. Yeah, mm. getting in a pagat. So we go inside. As they open the door, my bride's just there <laughs> on the wall. Chowing your pikire. My. What else was there? It was. Oh, my pad. My pad is. Was it used? So it's not used. It's not. And remember, you were actually having a problem a with, with blood. my period. So I'm, um, and then there's candles, la pants, and then there's needles also. So as we check that candle, la pezulu, by that thing, he tied in wele, and then wele is ufaye ina lady through, and then to the that thing, and then to Your the head. other side. Yes, and then ufaye and then the picture is burnt up to this far. So on the edge of let's let's say bring in because this one is not bent. This mm. is something's edge. As you check the edge, I see a, a picture that has my like a piece of my shoe. Mm. So my pictures were burning la like mm. every day. He comes there and then he's <gasps> burning those pictures. Oh, it was that was unbelievable. Like at that moment. What were your emotions? Like, what were you going through with all that? Because there's a video that I saw, and I think we're going to post it here um, in edit just for people to see that part. But, like, what was your emotion? Because I could hear there's a lot of commotion. Yeah. My sisters are screaming. Mm. I, 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 I remember I said to him, I, 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 I was angry. I know that I was angry because... I was screaming, and I said to him, she was one lawyer, sure. like one lawyer. And then he said, yeah, you're a lawyer. Sure. Like, he admitted in front of everyone. Mm. He said, yeah, you're a lawyer. And I said, she was a sis. And then he said to me, good. <gasps> yeah. He didn't deny it. He didn't. And then... I don't know. In his head, he has this thing. You would see maybe I went to a Sangoma and the Sangoma told me to go there and, oh. and check, you know, because he said to me, yeah, li, 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 your, 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 in, in the sh- like your, your, your Sangoma, Sangoma is very strong. <coughs> he said this. And I'm like, what? So my sister the whole time was busy just screaming at him, like, you want to take our only lights away? And, mm. and, and, and at that time, as they busy, with whatever, I touch my face like this. Mm. And I vomited. The pain had gone away. The pain had gone. And it was like I'm dreaming. You know, I look, I touch myself. I'm like, guys, no. You know? So, yo, ha uh-uh.
So there was no pain. There was nothing. And I said, at the back of my mind, I'm like, this is it. Mm. This is it. I We carried on to look for things there. My sisters are crying. We were just helpless. My dad was broken. Yeah. Oh, my dad was broken. And then there was a bucket that's sitting there. Now we're just checking everything, you know. Mm. And then when we open this bucket, it's this creepy thing. It looks like a liver mm. or amoeba. I don't know what to call it. Mm. But immediately the CPF people, they're like, no, it's a mapebeza. People do rituals and whatever, whatever with it. Did they ever say, like, what the people use my bebeza for? I mean, it was the, my first encounter with mm. my bebeza. I've never seen my bebeza. Okay. So, because I think I've heard that people use it for money, I think. I don't know. It could be because mm. everything around him, mm. he just wants money. Mm. He just wants money. I didn't know what the candle was for, but I was like, the needles... And I'm burning at the same time. And you're also... It can't be anything good. It can't be. Yeah. It can't be. Because other people are like, no, it's a love spell. Others are like, I'm like, guys, no, it can't be. With needles. It can't be. This person... And only you. Only me. Why couldn't it be both of you? Me and him. Then it it would make sense, you Mm. know? So now it's just him there, me here burning, you know? So, yeah. And then he... We took the my babies, we took my because people the the people they were like no burn everything and then mm. my dad was like no remember the mission of this picture was for it to burn mm. so if you burn so it, maybe you burn you're it, completing we're just completing the whole mm. thing we're not gonna burn this we're gonna take everything home mm. and then as evidence we're gonna pray over it and then post bread as mm. we don't know what to go. we have not even done anything with those things mm. even now. And then I got a call from the police station. Mm. They said, um, there's a guy there. He says that I went to his place. I broke in and I took his stuff. Mm. I explained to this um, detective. He said his detective. I explained mm. to the detective what's going on. And then he said, no, I'll call you back. Mm. The detective left. And then later on, he came. He came to my house with the cops. But not from that police station because my mother called back and like, detective, you need to sleep. You need to know, are you guys coming? Are we coming? Are we mm. going? That What's going on? The detective said, no, so now we chased that person here. Yeah. Mm. So he's gone. So he came with another Vern, a mm. police, from Katlehong this time. And then as they enter, they're like, no, Sissi, you've, t- you've took things that belong to, the, to this guy. Please give him back his things. So I'm like, can you guys just come in? So mm. I explain... What's going on? Because I can't give him back those things. Even the picture. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm like, I can't. There is no way. So as we're explaining to the cops, they didn't even want to see the pictures. They said, Sissy, this guy, this guy is dangerous for you. Eh? Humble protection order against this guy. Mm. Please. And at that time, what is he doing? Is He's he also just in standing the there. Oh. He's just standing oh, he there. He really wanted this picture. Because my eh? mother walked to him. And my mother looked at him like in his eyes, like I just needed to look you in the eyes, like I needed to see you. Mm. I don't want much. I just need to see. You. And then he's like, "No, nah, mama, I would never kill the rat." Um. And my mother was like, "Okay." And then these cops are like, "I must take him to my house." Remember, there's nothing for him at my house. It's, it's just his clothes. Mm. I must take him there to go get his clothes. And then he must never set foot in that house. So we had to change the locks mm. and everything and everything and everything. But you guys are married. So are you now going to go file for a divorce? We didn't sign. Yeah, but you still need to approach the court because Lobola is marriage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and unfortunately in community of property. Of property. But I think, you know, yeah. So please um, go to the court and, you know, file for a divorce so that you can just be completely yeah um separated yo yo so i think that now i'm gonna just ask you you know just a series of questions um just for us to wrap up a bit 
um has he tried to contact you since the time that you know he came with the cops and he obviously mm. didn't get the stuff what was he saying that i must remove the things i must please remove the things on social media mm-hmm. people are calling him left right and center can i please remove it and i said i'm not going to remove it mm. because you are a danger to me mm. so i need the world to know mm. when i first got into a relationship with you i was told that your wife your previous wife mm. was using muti on you mm. that is why you guys broke up the second wife was using muti on you that's why you guys broke you up. are his third wife mm. with the third child Chum. And so now, um, let's talk about the family. Before you found out, like now that you were sick and everything, did the relationship break down the time that the sister came and there was that whole fight? Or did you guys ever, like, you know... Since the relationship broke down that time, Mm. and then we totally stopped talking Mm. with the sister. Mm. I... After we moved in here, I did. I realized when I left them there mm. at home, they did steal my child certificate, that mm. certificate. And then I went to Guadua. That's mm. when I went to see them again. But we're not in speaking terms mm. because my husband was like, I'm coming with you. Mm. It was oh, a matter so of I'm like going and coming. Force. Okay. Yes. So it's like, I'm coming with you because you're going home just to see my family. Mm. So I went there and I did that. And then I came back. Okay, so did you come back with your child's certificate? Then? I came back with the papers from the hospital. Oh, to do, the, to do another the one. certificate. Yeah, and then not so long after that, I got a message from the mother mm. saying that they're gonna take this child. If I die, let me die, and then they'll just bury me. Huh? Mm. And you almost did. Mm. And she had sent a voice note. Yo. So I I still have it too. Um, yo, I mean, you know, you did a lot, eh? Um, from a Christian background mm. to now walking 4 a.m. naked, alone, back to the house, bathing with things that you did not know, doing rituals that were never even fully um explained to you and all these bizarre things um, happening. Mm. Do you wish you had walked away the first moment you actually realized that me and this person spiritually are not compatible because you guys are very different. Mm. Do you think you even had the capability of walking away? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So many times I'd be like, I'd sleep saying, oh, I'm see you. Mm. I'm leaving. Mm. But I would not leave. I'm leaving. I would not leave. When my sister says, why are you leaving? I'd be like, we are not cut from the same cloth. Mm. What he likes, I don't like. We don't have type of music that we like, type mm. of food that we both like. Mm. Like, it's totally different in everything. I know that they say opposite are check Mara, this one. Yeah. It's different. But I could not leave. I, I stayed. I stayed when I, I could not even sleep. Like, there's days where I would be like, no, mm. but same time, I'm, ang- I, I'm, I'm scared to go home. Mm. Same time, just like, yo, these people, and now I get there and I'm like, Guys, you know, mm. until I, I've heard it and I'm like, I'm leaving. Mm. But I still went back. Yo, yeah, ne. Um, so you did say that since your father took the lobola, that was I and O. That was it. That was it. Even now, you guys don't really have a relationship. Don't talk. We don't talk, actually. Yeah. yeah. Because after that, I got so mad at him mm. that, dude. You like didn't care. You didn't care. And you then know. Nami is going as good. You don't care. You're going to do whatever, you know. But I went there, Nami. Knowing that he was not going to refuse because he doesn't yeah. even care about you. Well you know, when you came here, your sister was talking about how it's, you guys have, have so much similarities. Like, you know, I was sold. I always say that I got sold to my ex husband. <laughs> and I think you also got sold because mm. let me tell you. My my father took Lobola, he never came to where I was married. You see? A single day. Right. They, even when the marriage was burning, he never set foot there. They don't want to know. Even when the people died there, he never <laughs> set foot. They and don't want to know. And so I was like, hey, now we're sold. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to know. They don't care, you know. And he, it quite hurts. It hurts. It does definitely hurt. Um, Yo, I, I really... You know, I think my question would be, with your belief, 
with your belief. We're not saying this is what happened with what you believe now with everything you know. Do you think this man used some rituals to make you fall for him? Do you think some love spell maybe um was done to you because mm. nee? because the 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 first time I got to his home there was um a ceremony for his dad. Mm. That was the first time first time I went to Kwakwa. Mm. But as soon as I entered the door, the the grandmothers there, one of them Actually, they're not related, but they type, they're the part of the Sangoma clan from the sister. Mm. So as I was walking in, and then she said, mm. you know? mm. and then I said, mm. and then they didn't say anything. And when I asked him later, and then he said to me, they said to be my wife. This is what he said. Mm. They said to be my wife. Her name is Lerato mm. Mohali. Mm. That's why I asked you another saying name. They say, her name is Lerato Mohali. And Godisang. Mm. So if you can remember when I asked your surname, your other surname, and you told me it's Godisang, mm. I said, I want to marry you. And I had not seen you before. She mm. just saw me on thingy. So they had told him the person like Melam Shatutuban. So he went mm. on socials to look for that person. And that was you. And this is me. So looking at your marriage, I feel like, you know, you were in and out abusive marriage like from the start you know financial abuse, in every emotional, yeah. in every aspect, aspect. Mm. you know physical mm. you know um yo what advice would you give someone out there that maybe is in the exact situation as you can they even be advised or what can you advise their families because i know it's not fa- a lot of families that are like yours you mm. know way in when someone is acting out of character and bizarre, our first instinct is to always give up on that person. It's mm. like, I, Lerato, once that guy, we don't even, even when things so better, you know, um, I don't even want to hear anything. And I do want to applaud your baby sister. Is she the one? Mm. <laughs> like, for the fact that <laughs> she's the fighter, you know, in everything. She, she made sure that even if I don't agree with whatever is happening here, mm. I will go to the wedding for her. Mm. If you said this, I'm sure there was no judgment. She was there mm. making sure, you know, what mm. advice would you just give the families so, um, of people that are in this? Because, guys, whether we like to believe it or not, witchcraft exists. Mm. You know, mm. I mean, clearly, I'm sure there are pictures and some videos that we would have put here for you guys to see that these things really honestly do exist and mm. they do have some spiritual impacts, you know. What advice would you give the families? Sure. I don't know whether I, sh- I, I, I should say they must go to church and pray for their family member mm. or I should say they should go and consult mm. or I should say they must go and fix them. Which is you never gun. gonna work, you know. Yeah, but they must just not give up. They must not mm. sit down for it, mm. because at the end of the day, mm. you're not gonna have them back. You're not gonna have my family. We're not gonna have the, me back. You know, mm. you're not gonna have them back. So as soon as you say, I, you can see, we see there's something going on. This person is out of character, mm. and you're saying I'm giving up. Then you're saying they must die. Mm. They are not even in aware of what's happening around them. Mm. They are just in love. You, you, you could tell the way when got on a con I was in love. I mm. didn't see anything wrong with everything that was happening. Mm. You know? Another person sitting there with like this girl sat there and watched Mtanaki being abused. Mm. I didn't watch it. But at that time I, I had no no one, you know? Mm. So fight fight for your families guys. Mm. I don't know how because I, I honestly don't know these things, but mm. reach out yeah. or uh, pretend to support them. It, it makes it better yeah. until maybe you can win them one day. Yeah. And you know the other thing again that I, I think I will also just say is that um, me being someone that, you know, I, I, I do shows with traditional healers, you know, um, there are certain things that I've learned so much. I, I a lot of people judge me, mm. um, because I'm a stand Christian. Like I'm a Christian. I don't consult Sangumas or anything. But there's so much that I've been learning about this, and of the fact that please be very careful of who pays your lobola. Paying Lobola, especially if they mm. know how to do it, they now have direct access to your ancestors. Mm. And the moment that the witchcraft, I call them the witchcraft gang, mm. 
the moment they ask you from your ancestors and your ancestors hand Agree. you over to their ancestors, Stand. they're done with you. Mm. They will do every and anything that they want with you because they you are no longer do you understand when you call upon your ancestors it's their ancestors you call upon yeah. and they don't even have good intentions for you you know because now we are one person. exactly and i think that some of the red flags that are there is that when you meet someone and they very quickly two months you don't know someone in two months like you really don't know someone and even like looking at it who in their right mind is gonna say i'm gonna take a lot of money and give your family mm -hmm. for you and i want to stay with because he mm -hmm. didn't even want a father and said like mm -hmm. he wanted to make sure to marry. that you are married which means that is an agreement if it is like you know being done it's an agreement to hand you from your ancestors to his mm -hmm. yo this is really just so scary i'd also say when when you meet a partner mm. Just make sure that they know God. Mm. Or have the same belief. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Don't go the opposite way. Because I can't say they know God. Because other people belong, belong believe a mm. and, 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 and mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So just make sure, Wuti, you, you have the same beliefs. Yeah. You're cut from the same cloth. Yes. You yeah. know. And then wow. things will work better. Yeah. Yo, you know, oh, is she <laughs> I think, you know, I've had a lot of shocking stories. This one, the spiritually wise, is the most shocking we've had. Um, and I'm sure that ninjas out there, everybody's going to just be like, wow. I'm sure this is going to be a three-part series. <laughs> like, you know, we we're going to just get into <laughs> it and get into it and everything. But I'm really, really thankful. And I'm like, thank God you're alive, Mirato. Mm. Like, what you went through is a lot please do see a psychologist, mm -hmm. you know, because I feel like this will definitely affect you for a while. Forever. Did your nanny heal? She cries. If you ask her now and men or mention my husband's name, mm. she cries. But is she okay? Did she She's heal? okay. Okay. She's okay. I'm just saying emotionally, mm -hmm. she has not healed. Yet, Even yeah. Even Namanji, she's just worse. Wow. Emotional. Maybe she should also see you know, a psychologist. And I think that um, the place you're renting, you know, if I would give one advice, hi, hey, maybe show me look for a new place. Mm. Because you never know what other stuff we put there that you just would not know, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe also try and just move anyway, you know, mm -hmm. so that at least he doesn't even know where you stay. But also just for that spiritual aspect of it, you know, because like, mm -hmm. wow, I, I'm so sorry. That you had to go through all this. Thank you. You know. But then can we talk, Mr. Guy? <laughs> Has he contacted you um, since all this went viral? Yes. He has he's called me. He's very supportive. No, he's very supportive. Okay. And he's very worried. About you? Yeah. Jimmy, I think this worried. man loves you. <laughs> Mr. Man, numb for you. <laughs> you know, like me, <laughs> you, like I better be invited to the wedding because that's exactly where we want her to go. You know, honestly, because... But you're not dating. I hope you do. <laughs> and if Mr. Man has a wife now or a girlfriend, if it's a girlfriend, when I suck and jelly, I'm a boza figure. We don't want you for him. We want her. I'll kill me now. <laughs> No, I'm being honest, you know. Um, I mean, we can all see now that Mr. Voodoo yeah. has been doing some voodoo voodoo sh <laughs> sh shenanigans. So, you know, um, we don't know. But anyway, I also do want to just say that I do commend men out there that um, are good men because we have those. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we do commend you guys and please don't change because we've got enough horrible men out there mm -hmm. and now we even have witch mm. and wizards and warlocks that are roaming the streets. And so ladies, please also be very careful of these niggas. They be witching like nobody's <laughs> business, okay? It's only that this one got caught. Mm. How many are out there doing more? And they're not getting caught. Thank you. And that's why, like, you know, in our culture, like, especially in Venda, not that I'm trying to say every man, but if you meet a man and his wife died, most families, they would not want you to marry them. They want you to start by learning, mm -hmm. understand what exactly happened to the wife. Mm -hmm. Because the same things that happened there, if this is the reason, that might also, um, you know, I follow. Agree. Mm. I agree. I agree. Because I, with, with 
my husband, I started making a relationship with the mothers of the kids because mm. he was not supporting the kids. Mm. So I started helping the mothers to mm. support the kids. You know, mm. when I buy for my kids, I buy for them also. Mm. And when I sat down with this one and heard the story, and I sat down with this one, same. It, it's the same. Mm. It's the same. Mm. Yeah. Yo, thank you so much, Radu, for coming and sharing your story. Um, ninjas, I do hope that you guys out there <laughs> will have learned. Honestly, you know, like honestly, I hope that mm. you guys will have learned out there. Witchcraft is real. Pray more. Um, you know, sleep with the Bible under your pillow. Sometimes in jail, just pray for water and sprinkle that demon of yours that mm -hmm. you're staying with in your house. If it manifests, just know something is off. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, but anyway, ninjas, I love you guys so 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 much. Um, I feel like with this episode. There's going to be a lot of questions that maybe people will be like, oh, I'm you didn't ask. Guys, uh, my brain <laughs> stopped functioning. <laughs> it, <laughs> it stopped, honestly. Mm, it's it's too lot. much. It yes. really is too much. Mm. So I, 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 I think I did just allow you, you know, tell your story and narrate because especially knowing the ending, my mind was just already like, oh my God. Like, You're already there. <laughs> Yeah, like, I, I'm just thinking about it, and I'm, like, thinking back and connecting. So, yeah, you know, um, I also have brain freeze, and I definitely got it this time. Um, Where is he now? Do you know where he is? You don't know where he is? Has his family tried to contact you since you went public? No. They have not. I hope they don't. <laughs> you know, I doubt they will. Ne? I doubt. And I wonder yeah. they do undercut it. Yo, so, so you better start dealing with me in when Amy, Anjay Anna. just go to the clouds where they cannot reach you. We connect you know? there. Exactly. <laughs> the clouds came to or Anything mm -hmm. underground cannot reach there. So they will not find you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. So anyway, ninjas, love you guys so much. Thank you for joining us and we will see you guys in our next episode. Bye, ninjas.